if you've been watching any of the other videos involving Linux, then you'll know that the first few things that I like to do is go to settings, go down to keyboard, all the way to the bottom where it's customize shortcuts. In here, we're gonna go to a custom shortcut, add shortcut, this one's gonna be called terminal. Uh, the command for this is gnome-terminal, and then for the shortcut, control alt t now we have a keyboard shortcut for terminal because we're going to be using that a lot. I really wish that was standard. We can use that keyboard shortcut to open terminal. We will uh, sudo app update, make sure everything's up to date. Uh, there are some packages that need to be upgraded, but first I'm going to sudo app install gnome tweaks. Yes, because I like the hot corners activated. You can go to the top bar and to activate overview hot corners. We'll activate that. Now we can just slide the mouse up to get here. Which an interesting note is that Kali Linux has both of those features enabled out of the box. So you can open terminal with control alt and you can just snap to the corner for the activities. So now for the most part we're not going to be changing a ton of stuff about this. I'm just going to be cleaning it up, making it look a little bit better, a little bit more modern. Not to say that this isn't modern at all, we're just going for a more minimalist look, something with uh, cooler tones to it. I'm pretty much done in here, so we can just exit. So now this laptop specifically, for some reason, it automatically assigns this uh, lower screen down here to the right side. So for that, we're just going to go to settings again, go to screen display right here, and then we're just going to drag this over. So now we have the upper display here. Uh, this is 1080 at 300 hertz refresh rate. And then the lower one here is 4K at 60 hertz. And we're gonna scale that one to 200%, but we need to put fractional scaling on. So that way the main display can be 100% and the secondary display can be 200%. So now that that's all good, everything's good there. It should be 300. Perfect, now we can apply, keep these changes and everything's good. If we ever wanted to just take a window and move it down, right there, perfect. Now let's just install OBS so you guys don't have to look at this camera anymore. So we have to install FFmpeg, so we're just gonna copy that real quick, open terminal, paste that in there. Now we have to add this repository, so we're gonna copy that while this finishes up. Paste this repository in there so we can add that. And then lastly, we will install OBS. Paste that in there, install OBS, yes. So now we can get out of this, get out of this. Okay, everything there is done. It is 4.20 in the morning, so let's try and get this done in somewhat of a timely manner, because I am tired and I still have three other videos that I need to record. So that's probably not gonna happen. So now if we go to tweaks, make this look a little better, under appearance, in here we have uh, the applications, cursors, icons, shell, and sound, but you'll notice that shell has this little exclamation point on it. So we can't actually change the shell. So what we need to do is we need to activate user themes. So we're just going to open Firefox, we're just gonna go to GNOME Shell Extensions, and the first one here, user themes, we're gonna install the extension for Firefox. Continue, add, got it. Perfect, refresh, good. Now we can just hit this toggle to turn this on. Install, excellent. Now I'm gonna close this, gonna reopen it. And go to appearance. Now here, we can actually select different shell themes, which will end up coming in handy. Now we have to install these. So to do that, now we're gonna open another terminal, and then in here we're gonna do sudo, and then type in nautilus, N-A-U-T-I-L-U-S. And password for that, that's going to open a file explorer, which you can see right here, and that's going to be in root access. So we can go to other locations, computer. Now we can go down to, actually I'm going to snap this here, and I'm going to open another non-root one. All of the files that I'm going to be including here, all of these will be linked in the description, so you can get all of these if you want to replicate this. So now in this root one here, we've clicked computer, we're going to go to user, and then go to share. Now in here, we're gonna find icons. So we can just scroll down until we find icons, or you can literally just type by going to the search. Now in this icons folder here, we're going to be unzipping all of these. These icons here, I'm just gonna drag these ones out. Uh, cursors also goes in the icons folder. So now we have gray, dark, regular gray, and then the cursor. So we're gonna take all of these and we're just gonna drag them into this folder here with root access. You cannot extract from one of these to the root access folder, which is why I did it to here first and then over. And now we're just gonna go back. We're gonna go to themes, which is right here. 
And in the themes folder, we're going to be doing Nord Arc, as well as Nordic Darker Standard Buttons, because we don't need Apple buttons. So we can take both of those folders now and drag those over. Excellent. Now we can close this, close this, close this. We're done there. Uh, we can go to Tweaks. Now this is where we're going to apply everything, so we're going to be going to Appearance. For the application section here, where it says Pop Dark, we're going to change that to Nordic Darker Standard Buttons. This one. As for the cursor, we're going to use the faded original cursor. The regular cursor here is the same, it changes the loading one. We're going to change the folders, which I will pull up here so you can see the comparison. So now as for the icons, we can go to the gray ones. Uh, two packages were included, but for some reason this one only has system icons. This one here, where it doesn't say dark, uh, this has all of the icons. So if we have the... Uh, the dock right here, you can see uh, Firefox, the folder, and everything. So if we change that now, you can see all of these icons have just changed. Uh, these are a lot more flat now, like a flat theme. Uh, for some reason, the files icon is actually missing. And terminal. Actually, the only thing that did change was Firefox. Okay, so I might have to re-download this pack. It may be corrupted. Normally, this looks a lot different. It's supposed to change all of these, but for some reason only Firefox changed. Uh, we'll skip that for now. So for the shell, we're going to do the Nord Arc theme. As you can see, nice sharp edges around everything, and then the windows. Nicely curved, very dark, dark UI at the top. Sounds, we're just going to leave alone, and then as for the wallpaper, I'm just going to change it to the one that I've already downloaded, which is right here. And same with the lock screen. Okay, so already it's looking better, I just need to get those icons figured out. I'm just going to change this so the theme is the system colors. Make that a little bit nicer. And now I have to figure out these icons. Turns out they have changed something in Pop OS 20.10 because this worked perfectly fine on 20.04 LTS, which is what I run on my desktop. And now I'm doing this on my laptop, uh, which is Pop OS 20.10. It's not working, so I looked into this a little bit and we have to extract all of these with root access. So we're going to open a folder here. We're gonna open a terminal. Uh, we're gonna go to downloads. And now we're going to sudo unzip and then we're just going to drag the first one over here so that's going to be these gray ones actually i can delete all of these so we're going to drag this over and then we're going to go put a dash d space forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash icons and password and now it's extracting all of that so now the icons have been extracted and now the exact same thing again so sudo unzip and we're gonna do the cursor so the fact that some of those worked at all was actually just an anomaly they weren't supposed to work at all but this is the way to get everything working the way it should uh now hyphen d okay so now that is extracted into the icons folder as well now we can repeat again sudo unzip and we're gonna do this theme here d user share themes exact same thing again for the last one here which is sudo unzip drag that over d user share themes uh what oh that's a tar ball okay so this one is a tar file so we actually have to do sudo uh tar dash xzvf and now we can take the file here and dash C, and then the directory, which is going to be usr share themes. What do you mean it's not in gzip format? Uh, we could try just like xf, so that one worked. So sudo tar dash xf, then we use the tar xz file, dash c forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash themes. Now everything is extracted, so we can reload the cache by doing alt f2 and then just type r and enter. Now it's reloaded, so we can do tweaks appearance application. We can do the Nordic darker standard buttons, cursor, faded ones, icons, the gray ones. Shell is going to be the Nord arc theme and the sounds are gonna be left alone. Wallpaper's fine. And now we can see that the icons did set properly. So everything is actually working the way it should. So now that it's been over an hour later, we can move on to the next step. As all of this is done, 
looking clean, nice, sharp. So now the last step is going to be cleaning up the boot process on this because with Pop! OS it uses a system D boot, which is fine, but because I'm dual booting on two separate drives, that means that every time I turn the computer on, I have to hit escape repeatedly in order to get to the boot menu. I can set a delay, but if I set a delay in system deboot, it just boots to a black screen with text on it and it looks very dated. And since we're trying to make everything look nicer, uh, what I plan on doing here is installing Refined, or R-E-F-I-N-D. Now to do that, it's really easy. All we have to do, open a terminal, type in sudo app install, and then it's Refined, but without an E, so R-E-F-I-N-D. And yes, we want to automatically install this. Okay, now everything's fine there, so all we have to do now is just sudo refind dash install. Okay, everything's good. Now sudo sudo nautilus. I'm gonna go to the other locations, computer, and now in here is where we're going to be using our theme. So that's the last thing that's downloaded right here. This is the theme, minimal theme. And the directory for this is going to be boot EFI, the all caps EFI, and then in here, refine. And now in here, we're going to be making a new directory called themes, and we're gonna be extracting this to this themes folder. And then in here, we're going to add a line that tells it to read a theme off of here. The first thing that I'm gonna do here, open a terminal, I'm gonna do sudo unzip. We are going to unzip this file, D for a directory, and we're going to type in boot EFI, caps EFI, and then lowercase refined themes, enter. Now it should have extracted that to this folder, which it did, which is right here. So that's good. And now before I set this theme, what I want to do is I want to reboot first because this is a super minimal theme. So the, the boot options are only going to be showing icons. They're not going to show the actual text beneath it. So we, we're going to keep this the way it is right now with the factory theme. And I'm going to reboot so that way we can remove the other options that are there before we continue so that way we won't get confused because there's going to be other boot options and we only want the two, Pop! OS and Windows 10. So we can just restart the computer and now you can see this is going to be the new boot menu that we have. So right here we have Windows. This right here is the Pop! OS install. So this is the full install. You can see down here it shows the directory to it. This right here is the systemd boot EFI. So we're going to hide this one, manage the hidden tags menu here, or we can just hit delete and and that will allow, allow us to actually hide it. So now that one's gone from here. Uh, this is a fallback for Windows, uh, so we're not gonna use that and actually don't normally use that anyway. So now we have three more Linux ones. So right here, this is a recovery, so we don't need this one. And the best part about this is uh, we can re-add these back so we can just have a super clean look. And if we do need to fall back to that recovery, then we can add the option back to access it. Uh, but we can keep it hidden in the meantime. And then this one right here is the EFI for Pop! OS, which we're not going to be needing because we are using the direct boot to it. So now we have Pop! OS and Windows ready to go. So now we can boot back into Pop! OS and we will change that theme. So we are back in Pop! OS here. So that's the little loading icon that I was talking about, the little spinny guys. Uh, so now Control alt t to open terminal. So now we're just going to add a line into the configuration file for Refine. So that way it'll tell it to boot from the theme that we've just installed. So we're gonna type in sudo nano and the directory was boot EFI, capital EFI, find. And the file we want to edit is refined.conf for configuration file. Now in here, we're just gonna scroll all the way to the very bottom and we're just going to add a line that says include themes forward slash and now we need the name of the folder that we used, which is this folder here. So we're just going to copy that name real quick and paste control shift V. So that's the name of the folder forward slash theme.conf. Now control X to exit, Y for yes, and then enter. And now we can just reboot and the theme should be applied. And now you can see that we have a nice clean boot screen to pick Pop! OS or Windows from. And we can boot into Pop! OS. And now if for whatever reason we need to go back to Windows, we just quickly reboot the computer, select on a nice interface. Now the last thing that I wanna do just to open terminal with a little bit more grace, let's type in sudo nano. And we're gonna type in a tilde forward slash dot bash rc. And now in here, we're just gonna go all the way to the bottom 
and we're just going to add a line that says NeoFetch. Oh, and uh, I've, I've already installed this, but to install it, you just type in sudo app install neofetch-y. And then when you hit enter, it's going to install NeoFetch, which I already have installed. So we're just adding NeoFetch as a command for when terminal opens. So now control X to exit, Y to save, enter to overwrite. Now we can exit this and open terminal, and terminal will always open with NeoFetch as being the first thing that opens. Drag this out a little bit, I kind of want to have a little bit of space here, so we're going to change that and change the height a little bit. So I'm going to go to preferences, under profiles for pop, and I'm going to change this to... Uh, let's say 90 and the height let's do um, something like uh, 30 that should be good close this open another one actually probably make that a little bit smaller stretch this out a little bit more we'll do like 100 on there change this one to 100 and we'll take this one down to like uh, 26 okay there we go. So now you can see it opens up perfectly, ready to go. Probably even bring that one down just to like 95, just to be a little bit more precise. Beautiful. Anyway, that's basically that. This is how I set up a, a fairly simple minimalist Linux setup and dual booting Linux and Windows using Refined as the bootloader, as well as taking all the extra options out of Refined. So hopefully you found something useful out of this. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it. Leave some comments down below on some other stuff that I could try, uh, different icon packs, themes. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, or don't do any of it. I'm not telling you what to do. Oh my god. Well, hopefully that recorded, because the camera died. <laughs> well, I mean, that was two hours of recording to make this video. I really don't want to do this again. I wiped the whole computer just so I can make this video. Well, good luck future Ben. Hopefully you can edit this without having to redo a bunch of stuff.